In New Orleans East tonight, a number of people are looking for housing. That comes after they were put out of an extended stay motel and despite a court order meant to stop that. Danny Monsverde joins us now with that story. Some people don't know where they'll be staying tonight after they were put out of this Studio 6 extended stay in New Orleans East. It's been a long day for the residents here, and now there are more questions than there are answers. How can you, how can you do this to people that's paying with nowhere to go? Always... Emotions were high after residents got the word they had to leave. It puts a, a, a note on the door just saying basically, hey, y'all got to go, everybody today. I saw people packing kids and a lot of luggage in their cars, and I was like, what is going on? Danielle Seymour lost three jobs in recent days. One day one, one day one, one day the next one, just like that. Right now, no evictions are supposed to happen in New Orleans. It is technically illegal. They cannot put people out in cases of serious medical emergency. The manager. What do you want to know? Says he had no choice but to close. We received the phone call from the health department to close that building and move people over here. And then now finally the corporate office says, you know, you have to close both buildings due to the uh, health concern. He's told everyone that he's spoken to different things about why they're closing. But for Seymour, she knows one thing. I'm out of work. I have nowhere to go. There's a, a, a global crisis and this owner or this corporate person is trying to kick me out. Some residents tell us that they're being told the lights and water will be turned off to force them to leave. And again, they say they're just not sure where they're going to go at this point. Reporting in New Orleans East, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News.